What's up, gang? Welcome back to another X Principle Two Minute Drill. Today, it's consistency is more important than intensity. You don't have to be drenched in sweat and out of breath and collapsing on the floor and miserably sore, unable to walk for days after each workout in order for it to count. In fact, that's stupid. Consistently showing up and even putting in a 50% effort is far more important than how hard you push yourself and you don't have to crush yourself every single day. You can only improve so quickly and trying to accelerate that process beyond the natural speed that's going to happen is probably going to lead to failure. You're going to crash and burn. You're going to burn out because it's too much for you to handle. You can get this much better each day, but you can only get this much better each day. So we're trying to do the maximum amount that you are capable of doing. It doesn't make sense because then you can't do more when you need to. That's why we always emphasize the minimum effective dosage. But Michael, I can do it. I can buckle down on this. I can focus. I'm doing the 75 hard program. That's a dumb strategy. Life's never going to be perfect. That's going to allow you to go all in on something and just hammer it home. And it's completely unnecessary in the first place. Programs like that are just wildly, wildly, wildly stupid and set you back. You're not getting the benefits that you believe you are if you are just perfect about everything and hardcore. You're not getting that much benefit above the person that's just kind of doing a good job and consistently showing up. But we do believe it, and that is a very limiting belief. I always say that, and this is a, very true, if something works for 95%, or if something only works for 5% of people, and 95% of people will fail at doing it, 99% of us believe that we are that exception to the rule. And we are a part of that 5%. If I said 75 hard is only good for 5% of people, they'll maintain their progress. Everybody else is going to relapse and be in a worse situation afterwards than they were at the start. Everybody's like, yeah, but that's not going to be me. I'm going to be one of those people that sticks to it long term. But the reality is most of us are not. And repeating those strategies over and over and over again is horrible. And if you've done any of these programs, you're proving the point. If you've done multiple six-week challenges, multiple times through Whole30, multiple times through 75 Hard, multiple times through any of these other short-term things, this is what I'm talking about. Just worry about being a little bit of effort consistently over a long period of time, and the payout is way greater. Do the work.